Wait, does this, does this smell okay to you? Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Jess and I'm here to talk to you about a not so delicious, but very pressing subject. That's right, we need to talk about food waste. We do. Every year, 88 million tons of food goes to waste in the EU. And last year, global food waste reached 900 million tons. We've all been there, slicing off the brown part of an apple or breaking off the mushy piece of a banana that is a little too soft for our tastes. Because we know that an imperfection on a piece of fruit isn't necessarily going to send us to A&E. But still, one third of all Brits refer to best before dates when shopping in a supermarket or scouring the refrigerator for something to eat. There's something you should know about best before dates, and it's that they are exactly that. Best before dates were put in place to let us know when something is reaching its optimal point of freshness, not when they're going to start decomposing at the stroke of midnight, Cinderella style. Expiration dates, or total no-goes, are better indicated by use-by dates. In fact, loads of food critics believe that best before dates were just created by grocery stores to get us to buy more of their stuff sooner. Honestly, some people believe that they were put on products to avoid health and safety lawsuits from the same people who need caution hot contents labels on their takeaway coffee cups. Of course, we should be concerned about foodborne illnesses and sensitivities, which is why legally enforced food guidelines were put in place in the first place. Place, place, place. Place, place, place. But before humans had less free time to think for themselves and less computers churning out labels, humans used their common sense. Sis. I'm not talking about date checking a bag of Doritos here. I'm talking about looking in the back of your fridge, picking up that cucumber, and seeing if something's off about it. This will only take a few seconds, and if something's really bad about it, trust me, you'll smell it. So why do one third of British shoppers not trust themselves to do it? Big news gang, we might soon have to. Waitrose, one of the UK's biggest supermarkets, has recently announced that it will be taking off best before labels on over 500 of its products. The retailer sustainability and ethics director said that by leaving the judgment of freshness to the customer, apples, potatoes, and other fresh produce will be wasted less frequently. When it comes to products like milk, eggs, and meat, labels will still be on those products, so don't worry. I want to give a little anecdote about myself now. I don't know if this is like something attractive that I should say, but... And as someone who accidentally ate an out-of-date egg and spent the entire night trying not to chunder on myself, I'm grateful for that. <laughs> Anyways, the moral of the story is that best before dates aren't the be all and end all of food freshness. And a widespread move to ditch the things, Norway and Denmark are joining in as well by the way, shows that customers are being trusted by grocers to use their common sense. In the end, cutting down on food waste will not only help ease pressure on the agricultural industry, but it will also help slow climate change, with less methane being emitted into the atmosphere by the breakdown of organic matter. Because did you know, methane is worse for the environment than CO2, my friends. Crazy. If the planet is the least of your worries, and in that case, what are you even doing here? Maybe I can sway you by convincing you that this might help you to save some of your hard-earned cash. And with the number of inflation-dominated headlines circulating the news right now, can you really argue with that? No, you can't argue with that. <laughs> if you'd like to hear more of my amazing jokes, you can head over to thread.com to read the article. There will be a little image of that right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Labels are lame, brah. Just use your common senses. Touch, taste, see, smell, sight. <laughs>